All right, it's December 28th and uh, we're out here conducting a volunteer tracking survey as part of the DNR, Department of Natural Resources in Wisconsin's large carnivore survey. And uh, I started this uh, survey this morning about nine o'clock driving Winabo Road off of Highway 13, which is right on the edge of Block 30, which is the, the block that I'm uh, designated to track. It's essentially this area of the Schwamagon Nicolay National Forest. And uh, it's also the area where there's been multiple depredations on bear hounds. So we know that wolves are here in the summertime and early fall. And so now it's winter time and we're uh, checking to see what the tracks on the fresh snow can tell us about wolf population in this area. So this is the second day I've been tracking. Yesterday I tracked about uh, six hours and uh, came across one historic old wolf print, but that's all. Uh, about 98% of all the tracks I found were deer and rabbit, a couple grouse. And uh, so I turned into Long Lake Campground, which is where I am now because I'm following a canine track and we're gonna see uh, where it goes and check it out. Uh, it's only snowed about a half an inch, so it's really easy to see that there's a crust of fresh fallen snow and see what's on it. Let's check this out. So, there are some fresh deer tracks caught my attention and uh, you can see where those lead into the woods and uh, over here you could just make out in the fallen snow canine tracks here's a good one give you an idea there so these canine tracks go off in this direction Generally a wolf is about four inches by three inches and that falls right into about where these are. About four by three, roughly. Another indication of a wolf track is the gate from one leg to the other. It's always about 32 inches and uh, that looks to be about what that is. I'm not gonna measure it all exactly right now. So uh, this is essentially what a survey involves. It's uh, going into areas where we know that there's wolves or we suspect there to be wolves. And after recent snowfalls, tracking and uh, measuring and, and recording all the wolf sign that we come across. You know, we're looking not just for tracks, but for scat, for urinations uh, that can reveal whether it's, uh, there's blood in the urine would indicate that it's a female, that's a breeding female. Uh, maybe it's a raised leg urination as opposed to a squat urination. Squat urinations are usually done by the more uh, lower standing wolves. And only the, the dominants don't like to use the term alphas anymore. So we're trying to use the alternative. I'm not sure what that is. Mommy and daddy, big bad wolf, little wolf. But 